So what are the biggest lifestyle choices people make that silently hurt or help their brain health? One is uh, sleep. The brain needs to relax. The brain needs to rewind. The maid needs to shut down for some time. Parts of it need to shut down. At least a person should have 7 to 8 hours of sleep. The second thing is stress, whether it's work, the emotional, ed- emotional stress. stress at the family level or the fear of missing out, fear of failing. the fear of not being good enough anxiety anxiety all these work on the mind and that remains in your subconscious state mm-hmm. and that acts within you and there are various diseases which are called psychosomatic diseases they are a manifestation of this kind of stress which a person goes through others would be probably some of their indulgences alcohol excessive alcohol binging on alcohol that kind of uh, numbs the neuronal circuits smoking excessive smoking it alters the so many chemicals which are imbibed or inhaled they get into the blood stream and these can have a direct effect on the nerves on the blood vessels which supply the brain and they can over a period of time give rise to strokes then social interactions are very important if you see if uh, a person is kind of solitary there could be too many things which can happen these circuits could kind of slowly wilt away and die down especially you see them in senior citizens who are alone who don't have much social interactions or um, uh, interactions with their family you see that they are cognitive they are, the way they think their computational abilities their uh, social skills they kind of regress yeah social activity going out meeting people they bring about all these firing of these circuits mm-hmm. i remember there was very famous neurologist in manglo and he told me that uh, his father had gradual decline in his cognitive abilities and then he happened to bring him to a facility which was close to where he practiced and just this interaction with uh, the nurses with the doctors with even the housekeeping uh, in the hospital he was more alert he was more cognitive so social interactions is very important 